Well, hi, this is Custom Works, and I'm Clint Allen. In today's Tech Talk, we're going to be talking about shimming injectors. Now, the rage is you order a kit, and in that kit, you receive a whole bunch of different washers, and you receive a couple of these right here, which are uh, feeler gauges for determining the height of your armature. The promise is, is that you uh, will shim these up in accordance to the direction, and your truck will run all, all so better. Well, there's a lot of holes in this to begin with. First off, if you are having runnability issues, a lot of times if it comes down to the injectors, first off, do you know it's the injectors? Sure it's not the fuel, sure it's not old oil, sure it's not a bad sensor. So many other things that go into the runnability of any engine and especially a 7.3 with the Huey system. Uh, low high pressure oil pump starting to fade out on you can cause issues. Now, I understand the easeability of this. I honestly do. It's in the truck, pop off the solenoid, remove the armature after you do your measurements, throw in a stupid little washer, and then they say that you're supposed to shim up the solenoid makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. If the factory says that the maximum armature is 0 .004 and you put on a stupid washer and shim it up to that, why would you shim up the solenoid? Makes no sense. Zero sense whatsoever. A few people that I have seen on YouTube and other platforms are like, oh, well, I did this and holy moly, my truck runs just absolutely fantastic. Some of it's just mental. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, let me show you the correct way to shim this up. If you actually have a shimming situation, that actually needs to be addressed. Let me cover some stuff first. So here's the head and let's take off the solenoid. Then we have the adapter right here. So right here we've got the solenoid off and I, I haven't pre-checked this so this will be a mystery to me too here. So we've got a .003 that fits underneath here and a .0035 won't quite make her. So realistically at point zero zero oh three yeah we're doing good but I need to show you how to properly do this we're gonna shim this up to point zero zero four now part of this that makes no sense is that here's the poppet so right there's the poppet here's the top where the armature gets hooked up to First off, this can only travel so far. It's only going to go so far, so shimming up the solenoid makes zero sense whatsoever. But this is the critter that we're after right here. So this is the arm or the poppet guide itself. This is actually how you shim it right here. This is the shim right there. So let me set that aside. Let's 
get this bad boy off of here. Set that aside. Now, once again, I haven't opened this up. This is an injector that came out of this engine right here. These are the ones that I am rebuilding in the injector series. Notice, once again, that the poppet is sitting in the correct position. I didn't purposely do that, it's sitting in the correct position. So when this is sitting the long way right here, <laughs> it's the wrong way. It's got to be sitting like this. This one is a little bit off right here, but we'll get that corrected here shortly. And I'm doing it this way once again to prove that you can do this right in the truck. It's got to be darn sure that you don't drop these screws down inside the head. That will be an unhappy day. Alright, so there's a spring underneath here. It's not like it's going to come shooting out and hitting you in the face. So there we have it. Let's get this out of here. I'm just going to set that back down. Going to straighten it up here. I didn't put the bolts in there. So anyways, here's the guide once again. And this is the actual shim. This is actually how you professionally shim an injector. So let's go over to the workbench. You need wet dry 1000 grit or wet dry 800 grit. If you're first time doing this and you're not quite sure, you, have, you haven't done much automobile work or vehicle work, stick with 1000. Now we're only gonna be taking off maybe like an eighth of a piece of paper, so let's not get carried away. Come along. Get the oil wiped off of the shim, and then once again, we're only taking off a little bit here. Now I've, I've done this a lot of, uh, uh, so many times that I don't need to have anything to tell me how far to go down. I'm just, I, I've done it too many times. I'm good to go. So I'm gonna flip the paper here. So that's real good. I'm happy with that right there. All right, let's come back. Let's put this back on the guide. You removed it, so you should remember that it comes from the bottom here. It's going to wipe the oil off. Push it back on, give it a little bit of a turn, kind of wipe that excess oil off of there. Now if you notice, this is round, this is round, this is round, this is square. 
oil outlet. Set that back down. Let's put our screws in. Once again, be careful. Let's not be dropping screws down inside the head. Get them tightened down, crisscross. As you're screwing the first one down, then just go ahead and push that top plate down. These screws are seven Newton meters. For this, I'm just gonna tighten them down. So we got that. Let's put the poppet in the correct direction. Not like this, like that. Take the armature, let's put that back on there. Armature screw is two Newton meters. And yes, it's reusable to a point. Make sure you're squared up. Let's come back with our gauge again and 0 0.004 is what we're looking for. Get that. And bingo, 0 0.004 is where we're at here. Just gotta get that excess oil out of there. There. Put this back on. Preferably go through, you got the little air vent, little air vent, little air vent, little air vent. Drill this out to an eighth inch hole. Make sure that you put it towards the bottom. Put your solenoid back up on top. Turn them in by finger so you don't end up screwing them in the kitty wampus and messing them up. And we'll tighten this down here. Armature gets tightened up to two Newton meters, if I didn't mention that already. These right here. Basically, you snug them up. Then you come back through and give them a little bit of oomph. Don't have to go crazy here. You know, we're not trying to hold a uh, tire onto a rim. Or I should say a rim onto, a lu onto lugs. All right. Boom. As simple as that. Number one. It's done correctly. Number two, didn't spend any money. Number three, if it's gonna run better, it's gonna run better just with doing this. And you don't have to shim up the solenoid once again. Makes no sense. So I hope you've learned something today and you take it easy and you have a good day.